Uh, let me welcome you to our closing program, our 2015 SDI closing program. I want to thank you for coming, and uh, I want to thank the parents uh, who have allowed us to, uh, to work with your children this, uh, this year. Uh, it has been a very successful SDI, and uh, as you can tell, some of you have been waking up early in the morning bringing your children to, to campus for trips, right? So thank you for all those uh, inconveniences. We've been, uh, uh, you know, traveling and going to a lot of places. It has been a very successful uh, program this year, as you can tell. I want to thank you on behalf of uh, our department, uh, Albany State University. I want to thank you, and uh, uh, again, it's been a good program. And as you can tell from the program, it looks like it's, uh, it's kind of cloudy, but it's, it's going to go pretty, pretty smoothly. It's going to be fast, okay? Because I know that some of you have to go back to work, right? So we're going to make it real fast, all right? Okay, uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and the program as printed, all right? I want to uh, uh, invite uh, Earl Jefferson to do welcome. You see here? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome everyone to the 2015 Summer Transportation Institute closing program. Everyone here is very thankful that you showed up. And um, thank you all for coming. This will be very, very interesting. Everything we've done this year has been very fun. Everyone here has laughed just as much as they've learned. So welcome and enjoy. Okay, invocation by um, Emi Emia Green. May everyone bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, we're gathered here today to celebrate the closing ceremony for the 2015 Summer Transportation Institute program. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning so I have the privilege to participate today. Lord, I thank you for being with us through every trip through every argument and through this whole journey. Through these few weeks, Lord, I've learned new things that will bring me further in life. Once again, Lord, I thank you for bringing me many new opportunities and many wonderful people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Um, poem by uh, Kennedy Tiller. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Kennedy Tiller, and today I'll be presenting to you one of my original poems. It's funny how I want to be alone now, but you just keep chasing me down to the core. The core has two parts, my mind and my self-being. I am the being that wasn't being a good girl. I am the being that swallowed my corn and it came out to be more than just a seed. I originated from more than one family tree and I will be more than what they expect me to be or become. This is more than just mother and son. You never hear about daddy and daughter other than the dance that presses around one tear with the hope I won't shed another tear. Shout out to the dance, which anyone can come who was near. Shout out to the hope of tomorrow and the love of the lies. May the truth be told without the shout of the lies. The rain and tear, the fears are in her face for the American race has been delivered from haste. Oh, can I get a taste without being replaced? Oh, for goodness sake, stop baking cakes and bake brownies. But cakes we're celebrating and brownies are for doubting. But what will happen next? I will be forced into something that is left, not right. My mom always tried to get me to speak right, but now I am breathing in the wrong air, saying, screw everybody who doesn't care, because you know what? I thought I was the one that took control of my own life. I have to stay in the right lane so I won't drive out of sight because I want to be seen. Yeah, I am the one that kills people's dreams, and I hope I don't die before the sun rises. I pray for sins I'm about to commit. How do I know that you're trustworthy by I'm following God who knows I'm not deserving, but he's still passing out forgiveness, isn't he? Praying for another sin that is not conspicuous, but in mine as well be. I pray for sins that aren't even worthy to come out of my mouth. I thought it was about that life, but that life caught up with me. All this battling with myself will not let it contradict me or confine me to one place. I will not be a disgrace to the African-American race. 
even though I don't speak up when I'm supposed to. And I always find the time to say stuff when it's wrong too. And I get attitudes with people when I should be leaving it all on the track. The track that I'm running makes me want to go back, but what better time can you run when one day I be running to my father? He was a good scholar, but people want to scald his head off now. How will he ever know what I'm about now? If he's still stuck in his ways now, it's funny how you're going to want to be a part of me in the future, but you better come now because when I have fame, I'm not going to want to see you show out. You see how things are turning around now? But I'll still take you in, no doubt. This is the story of a kid who has never made any bids, who has never been popular, who just wants to be unstoppable, you're open to opinions. Trust is the first step to forgiveness. I feel like this is unfinished. No one owns tomorrow, but I'm gonna make it my mission. I guess there will always be some unfinished business. I'm praying for my past and hope it doesn't affect my business. I am an entrepreneur taking a leap out on faith. Just praying that God simply shows his grace and mercy. For this is the story told by Kennedy. Wow, that was excellent. One more ask of applause. Thank you, Kennedy. At this point, I'm going to do a little uh, program review and recognize some of the staff that work with me this summer. As you know, I'm Dr. Charles Ochi. I'm the program director uh, for ASU STI. Uh, Ms. Uh, Ethel Vickers is the program coordinator. Is she here? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Felix Osakwe is the program counselor. <laughs> Mr. Chumoburg is the youth counselor. We have uh, one of the students that volunteered this year. Uh, she is an, uh, an alumnus of STI, and uh, that's uh, Miss uh, uh, Akinobi. Yeah, right. That's wonderful. Thank you. And uh, overview uh, again. Uh, it's been a very good uh, uh, program this year. Uh, we've taken more trips than we ever did in the past. <laughs> it's, been, it's been wonderful, you know. We've gone to a lot of places, and um, some of the kids will be uh, presenting to you some of the trips we've taken. And uh, so, uh, again, I thank the parents for allowing us to um, work with their kids. Uh, some, most of them are, have done very well. Uh, as you know, there was no incident. Uh, everything was successful. I went to a lot of places and uh, exposed them to transportation areas, whether it was sea or land or air. And uh, you're going to have the chance to hear them so they can tell you where we've been this summer. It's been very, very incredible. And I thank them for, uh, for going with us and I thank the parents again. At this point, let me also uh, welcome some of our visitors, some of our friends and faculty. and. Uh, we also have a, a pleasant surprise this morning. I'm not going to say that. Somebody that comes from Atlanta, a person that for 20 years has helped us to keep the program going. I'm going to leave her, uh, uh, for now, but I want to thank her for coming. Okay? All right. Um, greetings and remarks. Uh, Dr. Uh, our, my dean is not able to be here today, Dr. Uh, um, Marsha Hood. She was going to bring greeting from Auburn State University, but she couldn't make it. So on behalf of ASU, I say welcome and thank you for coming. All right? And now, uh, let me recognize Ms. Ross, uh, Ms. Vanessa Ross, who uh, has been really with us for 20 years. She works with the Federal Highway Administration. She's the one that makes it possible for us to get this grant every year. I could call on her, and she, she knows how she works with the Washington, D.C. and Atlanta. And I uh, want to uh, thank her for coming. And uh, we, wanna, we are very grateful to her. Again, without her, this program probably will not be uh, holding. So, Ms. Uh, Ross, can you come by, please, and say a few words? She
guess it's still morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to see some of the faces. I got to see them for a short while while in Atlanta, uh, two weeks ago, I guess. And um, I don't get down here to South Georgia that often, so I don't really get to interact with the students here. And for that, I apologize. But um, as Dr. Otis said, we have had this program here for 20, 21 years. And um, it's been successful. It's always good to see what the students come in, what they're participating in, and what they've learned. So I look forward to the opportunity to come down today to see how their summer actually went. So again, thank you for taking time out your summer and enjoying, and I hope that you all learned um, different information about the transportation industry. Not everyone that works for transportation are engineers. So there are other opportunities available. I myself, I'm in the area of civil rights. So, you know, we have doctors, lawyers, we have them all. So if anything that you want to know along the way, feel free to give me a call. I think I have a few more years to work. Um, but um, again, thank you. Thank you to the parents for allowing them to participate and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you. Thank you. It was a surprise. I didn't know she was coming, you know. She just drove from Atlanta this morning. You know, that was a surprise. Uh, a brief overview again. Uh, here are some places we've been uh, this summer. We started by going to Atlanta, and uh, we spent a whole day with the uh, Atlanta Regional Commission where they did a lot of things about how to plan for a city, how to plan for uh, transportation in the next 20 years, and so on and so forth. That was a whole day. Next day, we spent a whole day with the Atlanta, uh, with the Clark Atlanta University, SDI, and uh, did the bridge building contest, which you're going to see over here. Uh, on the third day, we went to Atlanta Airport. We actually went to, through security, and uh, went to a lot of places inside Atlanta, saw a lot of things, and uh, it was really fantastic. Again, you're gonna see that on the, uh, right here. Then after Atlanta, we went to uh, uh, Savannah, Savannah Seaport uh, for a day, looked at the seaport and all the activities in Savannah. From there, we went to uh, Brunswick uh, Seaport, right there, over there in the east, uh, about two, three hours away from here. Uh, we learned a lot of things about Brunswick uh, Seaport. After Brunswick, we went to Naval Port in uh, Florida, where we saw a lot of uh, uh, the helicopters that attacked helicopters and a lot of uh, military installations and so on and so forth. Then after that, we went to Tuskegee uh, um, Air National Museum, and it was also a very good tour. So those are some of the trips we've been this summer. Very, very interesting. And uh, you're going to have time, I'm sure, some of the students will come to present to you uh, information about those trips. So at this point, we're going to start with the uh, uh, bridge building contest, right? Uh, Erica, Pat, Erica here. Erica, pardon? All right, all right. Good morning. My name is Erica Payton. On June the 11th of the STI program, we went to Clark Atlanta University to have a, a bridge building contest. We met up with the Clark Atlanta students. The staff gave us the papers which guided us to build the bridge. We had to pick partners to build our bridge with. My partner's name was Carisha Clayton. Ms. Zuckers came around and got the name of our bridges. Ms. Carisha's bridge name was called the Payton International Bridge. The staff gave us the materials we needed to us which was popsicle seats and a hot glue gun. Before Carisha and I started building our bridge, we drew a model of it. We did that so it could be easier. As we built our bridge, we socialized and worked at the same time. We stopped for a bit and went to lunch. When we came back from lunch, we worked a little bit more. After we were finished, we started the contest. Then they put a hook in the middle of our bridge to hang the bucket on. We put weights inside to see how much our bridge could hold. Our bridge placed second compared to the Clark Atlanta students. It carried up to 15 pounds. This was a great experience for us and a fun activity. What she's talking about is that every year, one of the important elements of, our, of this program is that every year we have to go to Atlanta 
Lakhat Atlanta University has an STI just like we do. We are the only two STI programs in Georgia, Clark Atlanta and Albany State. So every year we go to Clark Atlanta and we engage in what is called the bridge building contest. Okay? Which is that uh, we give them instructions on how to build bridges, okay, give them some materials and popsicles, you're gonna see them here hopefully. And then uh, two students will pair and then those two students will build a bridge. Okay? They will name that bridge. After they build it, all right, the bridge will be uh, labeled and weighed. Okay? Each bridge will be labeled and weighed. And who wins the contest is based on the weight of your bridge. Okay? How much it weighs. We weigh all the bridges and whichever bridge weighs the, the uh, yeah, has the highest weight wins. Okay, uh, this year I, I think we came second, right? Didn't we come second? Last year we beat Clay Atlanta hands down, but this year we kind of came second. So you know, so uh, it's a it's a very important part of the of this program, uh, uh, building bridge. And as you look at this uh, uh, slide, you're gonna see them with all the bridges they have built. Okay, all right. At this time, we're going to have students come and present to you activities for each week. Each student will come and get, uh, read to you what they have learned, what you've done each week. Okay? There are four weeks in the program. And here we're going to start with the week one. Week one will be presented by Erika Akinobi. Good morning. My name is Erika Akinobi, and I'll be telling you about week one of the STI program. The Summer Transportation Program 2015 started June 1st on a Monday. We got introduced to all the staff. We had to introduce ourselves, what kind of job we would like to have, and college we want to go to. We watched two or three videos about transportation, an industry that impacts our lives. We also learned about three modes of transportation, air, land, and sea. Dr. Glenn Zern came to speak to us about the history <clears throat> of transportation. About 10,000 years ago, people walked as it was the only form of transportation at the time. On the second day of the STI, Dr. Okafor came to speak to us on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mr. Emmanuel came to speak to us on natural science, which includes physics, chemistry, and biology. We watched a video on introdu introduction lab safety, that you should check gas holes for cracks. We then went to the library to take a tour and have information on the library operations. On the third day of the STI, Dr. Okafor spoke to us on chemistry, such as atoms, elements, and compounds. Mr. Emmanuel came to speak to us on measuring and about the ST unit, which means international and the bridge system, like length, weight, time, and meter. He also, he also talked to us on atoms as the smallest unit of, the, of an element. On the fourth day of the STI, Mr. Fulton came to speak to us about construction civil engineers who need to have strong skills in math and science. Then we, then we went to the GDOT construction site in Lee County where they were building a bridge and we also saw what they did. Mr. Noakating came to speak to us on math. On the fifth day of the STI, Clark and Allen students came to Auburn State. When they arrived, we were paired with each other's students. We then took a trip to the Marine Base. There were large computers to show where the ships were located and what was contained in the ships. Then we toured another building where there were packaging equipment to be shipped off. Then we headed to the Auburn Museum and watched the media and watched to Auburn Museum and watched a movie on the Auburn Civil Rights Movement. We then toured the building and saw how everything had changed. Then we, then we toured the old Mount Zion where Dr. Michael King, King Jr. spoke about civil rights. All right, my name is Faith McGee. I'll be speaking on the second week of the STI program. Okay, on the first day of the STI program, we started our morning with our first lecture, which was Mr. Okafor, and he talked about chemical reaction rate and the factors of rate of reaction. And then after that, he came around and he figured out who did all their assignments, and whoever completed it, he took to the lab. And when we got to the lab, we compared eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, as well as animal and plant cells. Then we looked at four different types of cells, which was inside the telescope, so we had to look inside of it. And we had to draw and describe what we seen through the telescope. After leaving the lab with Mr. Okafor, we went to... Yeah. <laughs> we had 
we went to lunch, and then when we came back from lunch, we had math with Mr. Walketty, and he talked about the Pascal Triangle, which is not like a regular triangle, it's like numbers and it lean down, yeah. Okay, and after that, we went to the Hopper Gym. For the last, for the following three days, which is 9th through 11, we went to at Atlanta, and we stayed three days and two nights. And then on the first day we arrived at in Atlanta, we went to the Atlanta Regional Commission Center. There we had met their staff and the rest well and Clark Atlanta students. And we introduced ourselves, we ate breakfast with them, and we were split into three groups because we had to go on a scavenger hunt in different parts of Atlanta. And we took pictures that pictures of things that was on the list for our scavenger hunt. And after that, we had came back and we had lunch and ate snacks with them while we were doing our presentation. Well, we had to get our presentation together. Okay, and then after that, we had presented our presentation to everybody. And then we had, as, as we presented, we had pictures and we had to describe what our picture was about. And, okay, and after we got done presenting, we, we had, we actually judged each other's presentation about how everybody else did as well. And then we got everybody's feedback. After that, we went to the hotel, we checked in. Around seven o'clock, we had left to go eat dinner. Second day we stayed down there, we went to Clark Atlanta University. And there we had built bridges. And we were also split into pairs, we were in groups, we split inside pairs. And, um, we, we got on building bridge. We had to see how much our bridge weighed and how much weight it could hold. See, my bridge was named Wonderland, and my partner was Michaela Morris, and we won for the weight thing, for how much it weighed, not the how much they hold. But, and after that, we had tallied it up and stuff. After that, we had left, went to the hotel, we got to the swimming pool, left the swimming pool, and then we had got ready for dinner. And then Ms. Vickers came inside our room late on that night to see if we had everything ready for the next day because we had to leave. Okay, the third day we was in Atlanta, we went to the airport. And at the airport, we had a tour guide. Her name was Miss Brown. And she toured and she let us go through the security scanner. And she took us up top to this, it's like, like a room where you can see everything and stuff. And then we rode on like a little plane mate and what they use, like, just in case something happened on the plane, they could just go get passengers and stuff. And after that, we had sat in there at lunch. We asked her questions if we wanted to. And then, after that, we left. And then we went to a Delta Museum, which was self-toured, so we just toured ourselves around, looked at different things. And then, after that, we had left, came home. Everybody's happy, okay. Okay, Friday, which was the last day of the second week of the SCI program. We went over by the dining hall, and we had self-defense self classes with some police officers, and we had practice on the, on the red man mat, because he covered himself up, and we could just practice if we wanted to. And we learned Spanish with Sergeant Santos, and two of our members of this STI program which was Carisha and DJ. They were examples, like they were on the news, so they was demonstrating basically what we did. And then after that, we had went to a basketball game, well, a basketball tournament in, in the gym. And then we came back for lunch. We went to the classroom, had math with Mr. Wachetti. My name is Michaela Morris and I will be telling you about week three. Week three of the STI program started off with our trip to the Savannah Seaport. We had Edward Fulford, who was the manager of communications, greet us before giving us a bus tour. We toured the, gardens, the Garden City Terminal, which has two rail yards, Norfolk, Southern, and CSX. Only 19% of the products are moved by rail. All distribution centers come through the port of Savannah. 
Then Tuesday, Dr. Okafor, who was our instructor for chemistry, came in the next day and took us to the lab. We did an experiment involving acids and bases and how they re react with litmus paper. We went back to the lab Wednesday for a continuation of our acids and bases experiment. Also that week, we were introduced to English communications by Dr. James Hill. He gave us a worksheet containing several famous quotes. We didn't know who said them or where they came from, but Dr. Hill told us and he encouraged us to pick at least one book to read. Our last trip that week was to the Brunswick Seaport. We had a man named Bill Dawson guide us on our tour and saw how they transport newly built cars by ship and sent them all across the world. The Brunswick Seaport has the largest import and export of grain and automobiles. They also have the largest forest export products. They ship grain to Cuba. The Mayor's Point Terminal is named in honor of all the mayors of Brunswick. The Brunswick Port originated in 1945. This seaport has an amazing history. This concludes our third week. Good morning. My name is Jason Wright, and I'll be doing the fourth week of the SCR program. On Monday, we had a presentation on Teen Success Program from Mr. Charlie Grace and Teen Success students. The Teen Success students go on different farms and greenhouses to learn about different pesticides and other things wrong with the plants. Mr. Grace talked on the background of Teen Success. Teen Success is a four-week program on agriculture. The program is held by Fort Valley State. We watched a video on if reactions could be reversed. Mr. Patrick Wilkady had us do a Venn diagram on probabilities. <clears throat> Tuesday, we visited the Jacksonville Naval Base. We visited the different parts, as, such as the living quarters, hotels, and landing pad for helicopters. We learned they were the only base with the RV park. We went to the conference room. We talked about the different supplies they, they used to go on missions. They assembled the gurney that they used to pull disabled people up into the helicopter. Next, we went downstairs. We broke into two groups. The group I was with saw the inside of a helicopter. Next, we went across the hall where they let us try on, mm, how should I say this? They, they, they let us try on search and rescue gear such as night vision goggles and search and rescue jackets. When they turned off the lights, we could see the special night vision light. Wednesday, we went downtown to sit in on a Citizens Transportation Committee meeting. Mr. Patrick Wilkady helped us make a probability Venn diagram. Next, we rehearsed for the closing program. On Friday, we visited the Tuskegee Museum. We watched a short video on the Tuskegee Airmen. We toured the museum. We observed the different videos uh, by different men. They had one of the red tail flight of jets. We learned that the red tails were, were, were the first black aviators. The reason nobody wanted black pilots was because they believed blacks were inferior in terms such as skill, intelligence, and courage. They obviously proved them wrong. Thank you. Uh, we're going to do a quick song. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on. They said you wouldn't make it so far. Uh -uh. And ever since they said it, it's been hard. But never mind the night you had to cry. Because you had never let it go inside. You worked real hard and you know exactly what you want and need. So believe you can never give up. You can reach your goals. Just talk to your soul and say, I believe I can. I believe I will. I believe I know my dreams are real. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, at this time, uh, this year we had the pleasure of uh, visiting the uh, Citizens uh, Transportation Committee, which is the committee uh, of uh, uh, Dory and Lee County, I believe. And uh, we went to their meeting, we participated in their meeting in downtown. I'm going to have uh, the chair of the CTC committee, Dr. Uh, Pandey, to come and uh, give a few comments. Dr. Pandey. Well, many of you attended the Citizens Transportation Committee meeting, so you already are familiar with what we do there. So I'll give you a broad outline. Now, transportation is a broad area land, water, and air. Now in Albany, we don't have much to do with water because we don't have any ocean or a navigative a river. So we deal only with air and land. And continuously we monitor what are the needs, what can be done, and we plan it ahead. This is done by a program called Doherty Area Regional Transportation Study, or in short, DARTS. And that includes Doherty County as well as Lee County. So we have representatives from those areas, and they give input. And based on those input and technical discussions and uh, funds available, the plannings are made. Uh, Citizens' Transportation Committee mainly deals with citizens' input and feeds into the other programs. Also, it has to approve any plan that is made. It also conducts various public hearings. So sometimes you see in Albany Herald there is an uh, announcement that we have public hearing on this plan or that plan. So we collect all those data, what people have said. Uh, unfortunately, those meetings are not very well attended. But you need to attend that when you see that, because you learn a lot about what is being planned. And that's the time you can give input and make changes or uh, inform them about your needs. Then we have a technical coordination committee, which consists mostly of technical people. The traffic engineering department, the planning commission people, and Georgia Department of Transportation representative, also engineers and planners. So there we take the plans and go over it and see technically is it feasible. We also see whether what are the funding sources. So funding sources are federal, state, and local. So sometimes we have to combine a little bit from each to meet our goal. And once it is all ironed out, then we submit to policy committee for final approval, which consists mainly of our administrators, like mayor, uh, county administrators, and uh, city commission, county commission, and also the representative from Georgia Department of Transportation. So that's how the process works. And we plan short-term planning and long-term planning. So we just uh, prepared a uh, plan for 2020. So that's five-year plan, and we are in the process of approval. Our committee just approved it. When you were there, you might have noticed that we voted to approve it. And then uh, next day, other two committees also approved it. So that will be implemented. And the plan outlines all the projects that we have undertaken, the timetable, and the cost, and who is paying for it. So you'll see the state fair share, federal share, county share, uh, splots fund. So all those are listed there. And uh, then the committee monitors annually what is the progress going on. And sometimes we may have to make changes. Because sometimes we something happens that is not foreseen. So we make changes and we take care of those things. So that's how planning works. And that's how you have nice roads and uh, bridges that some of you saw that building bridge is not easy. And what you did was just the model. But in actual case, we have to go through similar planning. We have to see how wide, how long, 
what should be the height above the water level, how much weight it is going to carry. So all those are considerations that go into it before we plan it. And then finally the construction phase, which is also supervised continuously, and the bridge is built, then we travel on. Hopefully we feel safe and convenience that we have to not have to go long distance, but we can take shortcuts just going over the bridge. So I'm glad that you have taken at least first step into learning about transportation by attending this fine program. Uh, the program was going on when I was dean here, and I know personally that it is a great program, so I am a great supporter of it, and I'm glad you participated. And hopefully this will give you inspiration to think of your careers also, engineering, architecture, civil, mechanical, electrical, aeronautics, all these are involved in transportation of different kinds. So uh, think about those things and it is now to think about those because then you have to take proper courses and learn well, do well in those courses and you have a future. And thank you for uh, inviting us here and sharing about transportation uh, aspects of it. Thank you. Dr. Pandey was a professor of physics and was also a dean of the uh, College of Arts and Sciences before he retired from Auburn State University. Okay, uh, we're almost done. At this point, we're going to present certificates and then we eat. The food is ready, okay? All right. Kanija. Okay. Kanija Farmer. All right. All right. Congratulations. Amaya Green. Amaya Green. Jason Wright. All right. Carisha Clayton. Is she here? Is Clayton here? Clayton? Not here. Not here. Okay. Erica Payden. Kira Green. Ikenin Ochi. Errol Jefferson, the fourth. Isn't that right? All right. You got to recognize. You're welcome. Erica. Erica Kennedy. America, and Kennedy. Come on, twin. Amani Bryant. Kennedy Tiller. The Ante Mingo. Janta J. Robinson. Mackenzie Williams. Lauren Walker. Faith McGee. Janacia Jones. Demontre Porter. Kazaya Saylor. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome.
welcome. A Praley Jeffries. Is the Praley here? Not here. Okay. And Michaela Morris. Contavious Kelly, I'm sorry. <laughs> Novian Williams. Okay.
Thank you.